Happy Thanksgiving! Don't forget to subscribe! What's going on everyone? Welcome to Texas Haunted Channel. If you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. So I went on Instagram and I asked a lot of you guys that follow me um, whether I should put these wheels on or keep these wheels on. And I like these wheels, but I really like these wheels better. These are my Inky wheels. Um, they're 16s. They ride so much better than these wheels. There's nothing wrong with these wheels. Um, I just like those ones better. Um, I do agree with a lot of what you guys were saying. Painting the lip here, the burnt copper, to match the bay, and it would look really nice. But, I'm just not as much of a fan of these wheels. Now, they do look nice, don't get me wrong. And the tires are like all brand new. But I really like how these ones look and ride. Um, so, I think I'm going to just keep these ones on. It's definitely a good little addition. Now, today I'm actually getting the windows tinted. As you can see, it's like a fishbowl. You can see right in there. With no problem and it's just horrible so I finally got a day and the money to go get them tinted so I'm gonna go do that right now uh, hopefully today I'll be getting the windshield replaced too we'll see what happens but uh yeah I'm gonna show you inside real quick so you can see how bad it is from inside the car this is how bad it is inside the car so when you're driving down the road you can see right through here so just give you a good comparison of the before but I'm gonna head over to the tent shop here in Copper's Cove and we'll go over some more. All right, so I'm here at Copper's Cove window tent. This is where I get my windows tinted. Um, for my vehicle, this one specifically here is a 175. It's really not a bad price. He uses pretty good pre uh, premium like window tint, um, but prices vary obviously. But I'm gonna leave the car here and he's gonna do his thing he's got a couple vehicles before me so but yeah i'm basically just gonna leave it here and uh, we'll see what it looks like whenever it's done so all right well while the car is at the tent shop getting the windows tinted i'm gonna show you this sexy beast here a four-door eg what year 94 94 so we did this thing metallic blue um, with the Raptor liner. It is pretty uh, textured compared to like the green on mine and my brother's uh, EF, but uh, it looks absolutely incredible in person. It's hard to pick it up on camera, but it does look really, really nice. Um, and he's super happy with it. Oh yeah. So that's all that's you know really important. But it looks really aggressive with that front lip because it didn't have it on there and. Uh, now it just looks really nice it needed the front lip definitely now we're going to be doing the bay paint on it soon um and he's the one i'm getting the turbonetics turbo from so oh, yeah. uh, i'm going to be doing the bay paint and tucking making it look a little bit better and stuff under the hood for the turbo so technically i'm not getting paid to do it so right just getting a part um so that's going to be fun but yeah this thing b16 a2 and what turbo you have Garrett yeah it's a 2860 RS so this thing what was on uh, 18 pounds or yeah 18 pounds uh, it's got 300 at the wheel the last la that was the last time I threw it on a dyno uh, but that was also in El Paso at f like 4,000 ish feet so down here I should have more plus you've done some stuff since then yeah kind of changed some things yeah that that cooling fan by the way the Mishimoto cooling fan could suck babies through the front bumper that thing is powerful <laughs> yeah it is super powerful he's got the coil unplug kit yeah the thermal gasket yep. uh, it's tuned on e85 yep it's on e85 yeah it's it's an amazing car i don't know why i hadn't shown you guys till now but i was like yeah we totally need to put this on the channel he's gonna go ahead and do a pool here in mexico so yep you good <laughs> yep definitely a nice setup and it's gonna look a lot better under the hood once we clean everything up because it's just kind of 
clustered right now but yeah. it does look good even with it clustered just because of what it is um, everything coming together real nice on it it's a super comfy ride too and the sound system is amazing so I, re I really like this car <laughs> runs really good um, he's gonna go ahead and take me to the tent shop and we'll take a ride in this so you guys can see how nice and comfortable it is probably won't be doing this like in my car <laughs> but uh yeah we're gonna go to the tent shop see if he's got it ready so here we go this thing rides so incredibly nice it's not all bouncy like my car but I have the Skunk 2 Pro 2s and they are pretty stiff. Pretty heavy spring, right? Yeah. What, what suspension do you have again? Uh, it's ground control springs with uh, uh, Tokiko shocks. Well, the setup's just right. And you have uh, all solid polyurethane bushings, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So don't let people tell you just because you throw solid bushings in your car it's going to ride like crap because this is literally proof right here. And what do you have wheel-wise? 16, 17s? Uh, 17s. So yeah, you don't even have a lot of cushion for a tire either. No, it's, it's 17s on a, I can't remember if it's a 40 or a 45 series tire. Yeah, and that makes a huge difference for ride comfort too, so. Yep. You can definitely get a nice smooth ride with the, with lower profile and poly bushings. A lot of people say you can't with both of those, let alone one of them. Definitely nice. All right, so he's still busy working. Um, he didn't want recorded right now. He's just trying to get it done. But uh, yeah, definitely uh, making some progress on it. Here's a little picture. You can't really see much, but there it is. All right, well, he's going to give a call whenever he's done. So when we got back, you know, um, I had a package. So it's a turbo manifold. I will be upgrading this log. I do love the logs. Um, I will be upgrading it to a PFAB style where it's it's got actual piping, not you know just cast like this. This one's really good design. I will put a link in the description for all these things that I'm showing you here. Um, inside, really good construction. Let me try to get out here in the light. Yeah, it's definitely pretty nice. There's no like leftover casting or anything. It could be smoothed up a little bit, but not too big of a deal. Um, these logs do definitely produce over 300 to 400 horsepower. I know personally, first-hand experience. And then I got this downpipe here, which I will also leave in the description. And uh, I'm gonna be running it on the AC power steering side, which my car has neither. Um, I just do that so that the heat's less, it's not over by the transmission or by the uh, radiator on my car. So that will be going on with that and the Turbinetics Turbo that he has at his house, um, which we're gonna be doing the bay on this to get that turbo. I've probably already mentioned that, but figured I'd say it again. Um, so yeah, got those two things, and then I still have oil feed and drain return line uh, coming in the mail still. I just ordered these like a couple days ago. They're already here, it's pretty crazy. This is all off eBay, by the way. <laughs> um, I've never really had a lot of bad luck with eBay. A lot of people have. Um, but yeah, so these will definitely be going on. I have the wide band up here. Yoshi's actually going to be holding it. So he's literally going to be like holding the wide band in my car. Um, so he'll be fixed into a certain location, probably on the dash somewhere, and the wires will be hidden with him holding it. So I think that'll be a pretty cool little addition. And I'll show you how to install that as well, um, how I install it at least. But yeah, so I'm really excited. I've already got the tile uh, wastegate for the top here. I did order a relocation for the wastegate so it moves it over and then it aim it down. The reason I do that is because on the EFs I've had them hit the hood when I turboed EFs before. So I have a relocate for that coming as well. But yeah, this thing's coming along and uh, we just got to get a Honda out of S300. I prefer I'm already in the computer ready to go so I don't have to get them chipped and all that stuff and be down without my computer that's in my car. So if you guys know of any local in Texas, not Houston or Dallas. I don't like those drives um, but yeah if you do, do know of someone that has one for a fairly affordable price uh, let me know but uh yeah all right there it is he did an awesome job look at that looks so much better 
looks really good. It's not as see-through, but you can still see out of it perfectly fine. Looks nice. So definitely, if you guys are in the Central Texas area, hit up Copper's Cove window tent. I will put the address in the description. It's got over 21 years experience and it really shows. Got it done a couple hours time. Pretty good. So I'm really impressed with it. And he's showing uh, Matt, uh, Matt showing him his car. It's pretty nice. This thing's definitely fun. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, we're gonna head back to the house and then I'll go over some more stuff. All right, so there it is. That is definitely what this car was missing with some window tint. Now it is 20% up front, which is legal. And then 5% in the rear is as dark as I wanted to go. And it looks great. He was even able to keep the JDM uh, stickers that came on these windows, uh, all these windows on this car, except for the front windshield came from a right hand drive SIR. Um, so that's pretty cool. And it looks really good you can't really see in but you can see out perfectly fine as you can see it's kind of harder to see on camera but you can see out perfectly fine out of the back and that's what i wanted because i want to keep that daily drivability and be able to see now i really like these inky wheels yes they are 16s and the old wheels or the other wheels are 15s i might have these sold for 350 we'll see i'm not exactly sure um if the guy is coming it's a subscriber that was supposed to get them but if he doesn't um they'll be for sale so just message me on instagram we'll see if i still have them tires are like brand new all the way through so yeah definitely making some progress and hopefully we'll install this soon i got the log which you've seen earlier the turbonetics manifold from my buddy um who has the b16 uh, four-door so it's a ball bearing it's a Super 60, I believe is what they call this, Turbonetics Turbo. It's like an $800 turbo, turbo or something. And this is just a cheap downpipe from eBay. Um, might need modifying. We will see. It might just bolt right up and we'll get lucky. But most cases, it does need modified a little bit. But they have been putting out some better, uh, better products lately than normal. And this will allow me to keep my um, radiator that's in the car, the large one, the big radiator. So if that's the case I'll be happy with it um, this thing flows really well it's a small turbo so it spools up really fast but it's also a decent sized turbo for this engine setup um, this uh, turbo here has seen over 300 horsepower on low boost already so that'll definitely be fun in this car so big things coming soon so if you guys are new here definitely consider subscribing check out my other channel and my other videos all that information Will be in the description um, just go feel free and browse through both channels but i'm gonna go ahead and get off here got some work to do still so i'm gonna get to it but uh that's basically it for this video so as i like to say god bless stay safe stay awesome see you in the next one